ואיוולת חוני מאה. היי גייס, מי אלמוס היר. במהל האחרון וידאו, אני אינסטולט את סט הספיקרס במהל הדרסט. אם לא ראיתם את הסרט הזה, תראו את זה כאן, או תראו את הסרט הזה בקריאה. After doing some research, I found out that the stock speakers in a Miata are 8 ohm impedance and not 4 ohm impedance, like the speakers I installed. In this video, I will be explaining why this could be a problem. I will also go over the two options you have to connect the speakers, parallel or in series. First, let's start with some magic. Ta-da! As you can see here, I have two diagrams. This is the headset speaker's parallel diagram, and that's the headset speaker's series diagram. Miatos with factory installed headset speakers are wired in parallel. But there have been a lot of cases where the wiring in Miatos are miswired in various ways. If you are planning to reuse the factory wiring for your new speakers, it might be a good idea to check each wire to see if it works properly. First, let me explain the parallel and series diagram. Most head units have four channels. Two for the front and two for the rear. As you can see here in the diagram, this is the front left channel, this is the front right channel, this is the rear left channel and this is the rear right channel. The front speakers are easy. They are connected to the front left channel and to the front right channel. Your rear speakers or your headrest speakers are connected to the rear channels. But you have four speakers and two channels. So that's why you have to decide if you want to connect them in parallel or in series. Okay, so what's the difference between parallel and series? So as you can see here, both left speakers positive terminals are combined here and connected to the positive terminal of the left channel. The same goes for the negative terminals of the left speakers. They are both combined here and they are connected to the uh, negative terminal of the left channel. The same goes for the right channel. Positive terminal, positive terminal, terminal combined here and connected to the positive terminal of the right channel. And the same goes for the negative terminals. That is the difference between parallel and series. Because if you see, if you check out the series, you see that the positive terminal of the left speaker is connected to the positive terminal of the left channel, but the negative terminal of the left speaker is then connected to the positive channel of this left speaker. Then the negative terminal of this speaker is then routed to the negative terminal of the left channel. That is the difference between parallel and series. So what about impedance? Most head units will put out 4 ohm impedance per channel and you always want to match that with your speakers so we get the most power to every speaker. This is the same for every situation, so also with the series. So 4 ohm per channel. If you go higher in impedance, let's say 8 ohm instead of 4 ohm, your head unit will not put out as much power but it will be fine. If you go lower in impedance, let's say 2 ohms instead of 4 ohms, your head unit will be working really hard to deliver all the power and it will eventually break down. So always check the right impedance for your head unit. Okay, now let's talk about my situation. So my door speakers are connected to the front channels. This one is connected to the front left channel and this one is connected to the front right channel. Both of my door speakers are 4 ohm impedance and as you can see, they match the impedance levels of the channels. So that's perfect. For the headwear speakers, we have a problem because we have four speakers and only two channels. So that's why you need to choose if you want to connect them parallel or in series. So what happens if you connect two four ohm speakers in parallel? Well, the impedance level will be divided by the number of speakers. So we have two speakers, four divided by two, will mean the impedance level will be 2 for both channels. If you do that, you will destroy your head unit. If you will connect them in series, 
the impedance level is not divided but multiplied by the number of speakers. So we have two speakers, 4 times 2 equals 8. That will not destroy your head unit, your head unit will be fine, but you will have a lower volume to each speaker. That is why the stock headless speakers are 8 ohm impedance instead of 4. Connect them in parallel, the impedance level will be divided by the number of speakers, so 8 divided by 2 will be 4, and you will match your impedance level of the channel. Because I don't know what I'm doing, shout out to Greg in his 1990 Miata, I installed 4 ohm impedance speakers. So what will happen if I connect it this way? I will get 2 ohm impedance on my 4 ohm channel, and I will destroy my head unit. So, I have no choice, I have to connect them in series. Because I'm really curious about the sound, and especially the volume, I will be trying both parallel and series for my headrest speakers. So let's do that now. Okay guys, so what I've done is connected these two cables to my head unit. And as you can see, this is the right rear channel and this is the left rear channel. And both cables are routed to my two headrest speakers. And normally you would split, split those cables and route them to both the passenger seat and the driver seat. But for the sake of testing, I will test both parallel and series setup with only my seat. Let's start with parallel. Normally this wouldn't work because two 4 ohm speakers on one channel would give you a 2 ohm impedance level. But because I only connected these two speakers, each speaker has its own channel. That way the channel impedance level will match the impedance level of the speaker, meaning they will get the most power from the head unit. I connected the left speaker to the right left channel and the right speaker to the right rear channel. Well, I can tell you that with headwear speakers, the sound is awesome. Now let's test the speakers in series. To test the speakers in series, I will connect both speakers to one channel. That way the impedance level will be 8 ohm instead of 4. My head unit can handle an 8 ohm impedance, but the speakers will get less power so the volume will be lower. I'm really curious how much the volume is affected by this setup. Okay, so this is the setup. This is one channel and this is the second channel. From one channel I connected the positive lead to the positive terminal of this speaker. And then the negative terminal is then routed to the positive terminal of the second speaker. And then the negative terminal is on the one channel of the negative lead. And that's how you connect speakers in series. So I do notice a difference in volume, but it's not that much. So I will just keep my 4 ohm impedance speakers and just connect them in series. With my head unit, I can even adjust the volume of the door speakers and the headrest speakers by changing the fader. Uh, if I change the fader to the headrest speakers, the volume of the headrest speakers will be even higher. So you will compensate for the 8 ohm impedance. I would also like to point out that all the 8 ohm speakers I could find that would fit in the headrest don't have a two-way setup like my speakers. Because my speakers have a tweeter, it's a higher range in frequency and I think that's why the sound is so clear. There are a few things I would like to point out. 1. If you don't have headrest speakers, get some. You have more of a surround sound feeling and when you're driving with your top down, you can hear the music a lot better. Two. If you're going to use your existing wire harness, get some 8 ohm impedance speakers. 
if you are running your own wires like me and if you want to get the most power out of your speakers also go with 8 ohm speakers in parallel want the high range sound yeah no idea what happened there so again if you want a high frequency range of sound you can go with the two-way 4 ohm speakers and wire them series like me if you can find 8 ohm speakers with a built-in tweeter that would be ideal your speakers will get the most power from your head unit and you will have a nice and clear sound and three I noticed that the headrest speakers will vibrate your seat at higher volume because of the small woofer. The vibration doesn't annoy me, but it would be better if it had no vibration at all. Maybe I will add a capacitor to filter out the lower frequencies because those frequencies make the seat vibrate. So maybe that will help. Sorry you guys had to wait so long for this video, but I really wanted to give you guys all the necessary information to do this by yourself. In the next video I will be routing all the cables to my headrest speakers, so be sure to check the video out. Subscribe to my channel and join me in the search for surround sound in the Miata. Also hit that like button if you find this video helpful. Thanks guys!